So what about the Buddhist perspective on things? The meditative perspective that I'm impermanent, totally cool, I'm just going to you know, enjoy the time that I have, r rather than the rage against it. doesn't the work. No, no, look, I think, I think the philosophy of non-attachment, non look, I'm not an expert on Buddhism. My limited understanding, though, has to do with not holding on to things. Yeah. and embracing a, a philosophy of non-attachment because yeah. attachment is supposed to be bound to the ego and if you transcend the ego and you don't have attachment, yeah. you suffer less. Yeah, and my intuition is you suffer less but you also feel less, you love less, you mm. desire less, you agonize beautifully less, you express yourself intensely Interesting. less. Interesting. And so mm. I think that, the you know... <laughs> The, the art that moves me is the art that arrests me, is the art that transforms me, is the art that pains me, is the art that, that gives me a gnawing feeling in my stomach. Like, I, 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 I like the push and pull, the ecstasy and the agony. I think it's what makes us us. I think it's romantic. Maybe I'm slightly masochistic, but I... I <laughs> I, I'm incompatible with the yeah. idea of non-attachment. You know, when I look at mm. my family, people that I love, friendships that I love, places that I love, like, I love those places and those people so much it hurts, right? The music that I love, sometimes I listen to a song and I love the song so much and I'll get sad from just the thought that I don't have eternity with which to listen to this song for. You know, like I watch a film like Inception and I'm just like, oh my God, I just wish that, that I could watch this film like once a week for the next million years, you know. Like I just, there's just, I get off cognitively from, from art, from ideas and from things that, that, the, I, that, that the whole notion of just letting that go is, is just incongruent to me but to each his own, right? Can, can, there, can there be a, a feeling of ecstasy with, with, medita with meditative feelings as well, of, of not attaching to that feeling I of ecstasy? Know. But You tell me. I don't know either. I've I made a questions. video of every insight I've ever had because I didn't <laughs> want to just let it go. If I would have just been not attached to the... If I would have just like... You know, meditation sometimes yeah. tells us, you know, watch your thoughts, but don't, you know, don't be attached to them. Certainly some thoughts are not useful to attach yourself to, but every video that I made started with a thought. Every yeah. video started with yes. a thought I did not let go of. Yes. It was a thought I became obsessed with. I wanted to make sense of it. Yes, I wanted yes. to tile it with language. Share you know? it. And, and yeah. the making the video was a kind of psychological exorcism, and it was only through the act of making the video that I finally was at peace and could let it go. But see, now I haven't let it go. Now it's a thing that exists forever in tangible form. So it's my battle against ephemerality. My, all art is a battle against ephemerality. So I, I don't know. I mean, yeah. I, I, th there's not an attachment thing. I, I, I don't get it. I think it's a way to placate ourselves against the fear of death is what I think. Mm -hmm. It's a deathist rationalization that in, in the face of no other choice, you know, the, maybe the, the healthiest response is to find some noble acceptance like oh well you know it's it's god's will for this person to die a horrific death of cancer it's god's will you know it's what god god wanted i i just i don't buy it i think it's a freaking tragedy i think illness is a tragedy i think death is a tragedy you know and uh we also don't know what happens after death well hey i'm sort of envious of people who are convinced of an afterlife. I'm envious for their peace while they're alive. <laughs> but I just, you know, I can't convince myself. Doesn't mean that I can't be agnostic, but being agnostic doesn't doesn't rid me of you know the the, the despair associated with infinite nothing. <laughs> 